So hello again, let me share my screen. And now let's go to a different directory that is uh, in Vectio. So you already know our, our tool that is called Invectio. So if you go to Toastation Ninja and you check Invectio, it's a tool that is used uh, for static source code analysis. And what it does, it can gather information about uh, API calls that are done to, to libraries. Uh, this is done on Tamo's side when we analyze users' applications and gather information about uh, API uh, that is used uh, from uh, libraries that are imported. And with new uh, implementation, uh, we also can gather information about uh, uh, not only about library usage, but also about symbols uh, that are available uh, uh, by some, some library. So, now, if I do uh, something like Invectio and I ask what uses uh, some uh, libraries, so for example, our advisor, Invectio will uh, statically go through the files that are uh, available in uh, the directory and do produce a report. So, in this case, uh, we have information about what uses uh, advisor. So, uh, uh, what uh, what libraries are imported and uh, which symbols are used from these libraries. Uh, a new command that uh, uses that is can be uh, uh, used by using what provides uh, also goes through the directory listings listing and uh, checks. What, uh, what uh, the advisor library provides to users. Originally, this was created to create, uh, to uh, aggregate information about TensorFlow API. So uh, TensorFlow changes its API quite often across releases, and there is uh, information about which parts of API are stable, stable and uh, avail available and supported across uh, minor releases. Unfortunately, did, uh, did, this did not work because uh, TensorFlow is designed in a specific way where the library has its internal uh, logic and then there is on top of that uh, API uh, that is exported uh, from, from uh, the library. So we had to revisit this, uh, this approach. And if we take a look at repository that is called TensorFlow Symbols, uh, it provides a tool that can scan uh, API symbols that are provided by, a, by TensorFlow and that are supported across minor releases. It's important to state that this uh, is uh, available only since version 2.2.0 of, of TensorFlow, uh, where uh, TensorFlow developers decided to export this API inside a wheel will files and uh, this tooling basically can aggregate uh, the data. So uh, if you go to data directory and you see uh, there are uh, three files, uh, each one is specific for uh, some TensorFlow release. You can see all the symbols that are exported from different modules uh, that TensorFlow provides. Uh, this file or these files uh, that are for each uh, TensorFlow release are then merged into one file that is called API JSON. It's quite a big file. Uh, it has also, uh, almost two megabytes. And this file is subsequently used uh, in our recommendations. So if you go to advisor repository, uh, you can check uh, advisor, uh, sieves, uh, TensorFlow, and uh, sieve specific for TensorFlow API. And uh, this sieve can filter out TensorFlow releases that do not provide uh, specific symbols uh, that users use. Uh, this has multiple advantages. So if you are a data scientist and you open a Jupyter notebook and uh, type import TensorFlow and you play around with, with TensorFlow library, then 
uh, you don't need to explicitly pin down uh, to specific version, but rather the recommendation engine can give you back a version that you should use uh, when you run uh, TensorFlow. Uh, this also applies on, on uh, indirect dependencies. Uh, when uh, TensorFlow is an in indirect dependency and you use, you use uh, its API. And uh, as a demonstration, I ran uh, the recommendation engine. So uh, I stated uh, that I want to run TensorFlow in version 2 and above. And if I take a look at uh, files that are present inside uh, the directory, you can see app.py. In this case, uh, I imported TensorFlow, and there are, maybe that's not uh, visible that much, and I uh, used versions that are used only, uh, are used symbols that are available only uh, in uh, TensorFlow starting version uh, 2.3, if I remember correctly. I issued advice for the recommendation engine, and in the report, you can see that all the releases of TensorFlow were removed. So uh, 2.0, 2.1, 2.2 were removed because they did not provide uh, API symbols uh, that uh, users use in their application. If you click on the link, you can see the justification and uh, why this was done. Uh, one other thing is, or one other aspect is that we uh, do not enforce this logic, but um, if users use some unknown symbols of, of TensorFlow and we do not, and we cannot match these uh, symbols with our uh, pre-aggregated uh, symbols uh, uh, data, then, uh, then we uh, basically give up recommending TensorFlow, specific TensorFlow releases. So uh, if users use some uh, older API from TensorFlow 1, uh, we, we do not uh, enforce uh, recommendations that are based on uh, uh, symbols that are available on, in, in TensorFlow. Uh, do you have any questions? Why is it uh, TensorFlow specific tooling? Isn't it a generally useful tool to extract the symbols being used by a Python module? So if you go to uh, TensorFlow documentation, you can see that TensorFlow has only specific uh, parts of uh, API that are supported. So here you can see the listing that basically matches uh, our static source code analysis. And uh, they support only uh, this API. And internally, uh, the library has own uh, API, but uh, but they support only only this API to users. Mm -hmm. But uh, couldn't we use um, the same API um, uh, API based information for any uh, Python module to to give hints to the developer? Or is that a very specific problem because TensorFlow is changing so fast and taking back support statements and stuff like that? Um, uh, you mean like generic uh, scanning what symbols are available inside library and uh, matching yes. them? Yes, yes. Uh, we can do that, uh, but it's uh, not something that is supported, you know? Uh, so we can provide information about uh, library, uh, library symbols that are not exposed. But in that case, people should not uh, use them in case of TensorFlow. For other uh, packages, we can use uh, Invectio, and it's uh, what provides functionality. And in that case, uh, Invectio will uh, provide a list of symbols that should be uh, or are available from, from library. So it it seems to be TensorFlow too specific, right? We have a set of library, uh, sorry, we have a set of um, symbols exported or provided uh, to, the, to others external to the module, but we do not support all of these new modules, even though technically they are exposed. Mm -hmm. Okay, got that, thanks. Any other questions for Frido? Thanks, Frido.